Caleb Zotto with Bronco News, and with me tonight is Michaela Scanlon, a uh, senior senator with ASG and COM chair. So, Michaela, uh, go ahead and tell me about uh, this Uber initiative that you've been working on. Yeah, sure. So over the summer, I saw a friend of mine on Facebook who was a USC post about Uber at USC and you can enter a promo code and get free rides from the university. So my ASG brain said, hey, we should have this at Santa Clara. So I went ahead and contacted some people at Uber. We used some great networking skills thanks to Mr. Aaron Poor, and we were able to set up a meeting between the Uber South Bay team and some of our really great uh, faculty and staff here and they were super excited about the idea so we're moving forward with potentially creating a prototype and just having some more conversations about bringing Uber to campus. And when do you expect we might see this program in action? In prototype and then also the actual program? Potentially the prototype would be winter or spring. There really hasn't been like a definitive answer given by the university, okay. but a prototype would be within this school year and then the actual program would likely follow the next year. We've had this incredible informational meeting with the Uber South Bay team and this is something the university is really interested in, but there hasn't been an official like okay, we're moving forward with this. We're still in the process of having these really important dialogues and the survey and the data we collect from that is gonna play a really big part in what we're gonna do moving forward. We took to campus to get feedback from the students. Here we are with sophomore Nick Dudley. Nick, do you think it's a step in the right direction for the university? Yes, I do think so. I mean, I think it's really great that, you know, the, the campus and just the university in general is concerned about its student safety. I mean, it just shows that the university is committed to um, you know, the student happiness and that's something that's really important when it comes to you know, student involvement and um, you know, general happiness on campus. I feel like the radius should cover about four or five miles. I think it's a pretty good radius. Coming from a commuter standpoint, I am within that radius and I feel like sometimes it's important like if your car were to break down or something and or you're on campus and it breaks down and you feel like you need to go home late at night, it's nice to have Uber there that you can contact to help you get back home. If they're off campus and they feel they're unsafe to come back uh, closer to the campus or their home, if they live within a few block radius and stuff like that, uh, it's definitely going to be beneficial for those students. Do you see any negative effects coming from this program? Uh, the only negative effects I see coming from it are that people take advantage of it. How so? Uh, they would overutilize it, mm -hmm. and in that sense, they would continue to use it when they don't need to, uh, just because they can get a free ride. What negative effects do you see coming from this initiative? Um, I feel like some people may take advantage of this in a way where you're like, oh, I feel like I just want to go shopping, and you feel like you want to take an Uber, or oh, I want to go do some social, and you just want to take an Uber just because. I feel like it takes away from other people that may need it, that may actually feel like it can help you for safety, and there are certain things that it should be used for. What are some main concerns that uh, administration has with the Uber app? Definitely. So at first one of the concerns was a Santa Clara student like myself, I'd be like, oh, I'm Michaela, I go to Santa Clara and I want to go to San Francisco, mm -hmm. Uber, thanks Santa Clara, but um, the really easy solution to that is setting up that geofence around campus, mm -hmm. so it would be a really tight proximity. Mm -hmm. The other concern would be, like, are students actually going to take advantage of this? Like, will the university be losing money? Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we want students to really use it if we have a prototype, to really demonstrate that, like, no, this is worth, like, every cent the university would put into the rides. So I think the program is a great idea, and I think students would really appreciate it if some of those costs were covered. Um, my only concern would be that um, I think people already um, are pretty safe drivers. I don't think drunk driving is a huge issue on our campus, and I think people are already willing to cover those costs on their own if they're going to go off campus and drink. Here I was sophomore Nick Kikuchi. Nick, do you think the university has a responsibility to ensure the safety of students even when they're off campus? Yes, because even though they're off campus, they're still considered Santa Clara students, and they're still um, technically part of the Santa Clara community. What's the most important thing for the broader campus community to take away from this initiative? I would say probably two things. One would be to be aware and be in the know of what ASG is doing because the fact that students are aware of this initiative would mean that it could become a reality for everybody and it's clearly something that would benefit students, but also just kind of echoing the fact that we all need to be safe regardless of where we are. Like I often get really distracted by the fact that I'm in the Santa Clara bubble and I mm -hmm. kind of, you know, 
go out and think, oh, I'll be safe no matter what happens, but that really isn't the case, and I think this kind of is a gentle reminder to all of us that we always have to be cautious of our surroundings and be watching out for one another. Mm -hmm. The next step in our dialogue is really getting a lot of student feedback about the program and what it would look like. So we have a survey that's live right now and it is really simple. It's just saying like, I would use this, these are the nights I would use it, I would use it for these reasons, and this is when it should be available. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take all that data and ideally in our next meeting be able to say like, okay Uber, we've decided on a prototype fitting these student interests. Mm -hmm. And then we'd run it and see how popular it would be. Another thing that I would suggest is if you um, want to email me, mscanlin at scu.edu, uh, you can email me like a testimony about why you think this would be really important. If you want to share a story or just like give reasons or anything, I can bring that to a meeting and I'd be happy to share it with the administration and the management. <laughs>